This is the corner of Maston and Woodlawn, but Maston and Ferry is, is, is where Offerman and Stadium uh, was technically because the front entrance was on the Michigan Street Michigan side. Michigan Street side. And this stadium was a big time stadium for baseball in Buffalo for many, many, many years. Uh, the stadium itself provided a lot of traffic. That traffic fed off into the businesses that were here. And because of that, this was a very stable economic community at that time. Houses lined all these streets. There were no empty lots. And the Bisons played consistently for many, many years here. Uh, this affected commerce on East Ferry, affected commerce on Michigan, Main Street, Jefferson. Maston, Jefferson. It affected everybody in it. When that stadium was torn down, then the traffic slowed down. When the traffic slowed down, other economic things happened, and people began to move out of the area, and you see where we are now. There's a potential, but there's a lot of emptiness here as well. It became a part of a, a, a really modern-day arena, if you will. This Offerman Stadium was tied closely to old War Memorial War Stadium. Memorial Stadium. They did people, movie there. People commonly call it Rock Pile. Rock Pile. Rock Pile. But this became one economic engine from this from this place right to Best Avenue. Mm -hmm. You could five easily have and maybe a 15 minute walk up this, this street, five blocks. You could have easily 70,000 people on a Sunday, mm -hmm. a baseball game and, and a, a, football a football game, game simultaneously. And that would curve, look, we're in white America, <laughs> in the black community. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Naria, mean words spoken, nothing but camaraderie, because it all became part of the city itself, and everybody realized the value of each other in this city.